Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all well wherever you are and whatever you're up to. I'm Lauren and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you some of the lovely fabrics that we have in the shop at the moment which as you can tell is where I am just now. So those of you that are new to my channel or maybe if you just not watched a video for a while, normally I would do these type of fabric videos once a month and they would be like the new fabric videos but it's actually been about five months since I did one, maybe even longer. Um, so it kind of feels like everything that's in the shop is new just now. So I've just taken a selection of all of the different things that we've got and I'm gonna show you all of them. Normally you find all of the new stuff in the just arrived section, but because some of this stuff isn't necessarily brand new, what I'm gonna do is make a blog post that links all of the fabrics that I mention and talk about in the video. So I'll put a link to that blog post in the description to the video. So if there's like a specific fabric that you want to find in the website, probably going to the blog is the quickest way to find it because everything I put in the video will be on the blog. But otherwise, you can always just check out the just arrived section of the website and that's where the new stuff gets uploaded. We're getting a bit, we're getting like pretty much back to normal now in terms of new arrivals to the shop. So every week really there's new things getting added there. So it's definitely the best place to stay up to date. Um, I wanted to say thank you so much to everybody who left a really nice message on my video that I posted last week when I did the little tour of the shop. Um, it's really nice to be back and I'm glad that you guys are happy to see my videos again. So before I get started into showing you all of the fabrics, sometimes quite a lot of people ask me, so I'll answer this question now and hopefully it'll save you having to wonder and ask. The jumper pattern that I'm wearing is the Megan Nielsen Jara jumper and it's in a fabric that was from last year so unfortunately we don't have any more of this exact fabric but I'm going to show you some really nice jumper fabric, sweater fabric shortly and they're all really nice options for this pattern. So I've tried to organise the fabrics that I'm going to show you into sort of different categories just so that it kind of makes sense a bit more and I'm not jumping about too much. I've got lots of wovens to show you first and then I'm going to show you stretch fabrics afterwards. So yeah, there's a really beautiful, lovely selection to see. So first of all, I will show you this beautiful pile that's in front of me here, which was um, super popular back when we got our first delivery earlier in the year and it sold out so quickly and we've managed to get loads more. It is, it is the Nanny Aero double gauze fabric. So it comes from Japan, those of you that don't know it, and it is just beautiful. They're like works of art on fabric. And we've got lots of different designs, lots of different colorways as well. And yeah, the patterns tend to be quite abstract and just really beautiful. And quite often you have to sort of see them on a bigger scale to appreciate them. So it's got a lovely sort of bluey background with then these gorgeous flowery patterns and then nice birds on it as well. And we've got that in two colorways. And then we've also got this one too. It's a double gauze as well. If you aren't sure what I mean when I say double gauze, it's basically like two really fine layers of cotton that are sort of stitched together invisibly. It makes it a beautiful fabric to wear. It's nice, nice and lightweight, it's breathable. Anything that I've ever made from double gauze tends to kind of mold to your body the more you wear it as well. So it's really nice for garments. This is a lovely sort of, again, another kind of florally one. It comes in other colorways as well. And then sticking with the cotton double gauze, this one here is beautiful and it's got little accents of a sort of metallic -y kind of spot in it too, which is really nice. And you can see that the sort of colour gradient just kind of varies, but I think that just makes it makes it really, really interesting when you use it for garment garment construction because yeah, you just you don't know what you're gonna get until you cut it out and put it together. So yeah, a few colourways of that one. And then this one here also comes in lots of different colourways too. It's beautiful and it's a bit like a border print. I've actually made a top out of this before. It was the top that was in my sewing book and I cut it out that way instead. So obviously you're kind of restricted potentially in length. Oh no, you wouldn't be, I was gonna say you'd be restricted in length, but you wouldn't be. You'd maybe just have like a border that was at the other side that you would use for somewhere else. Because yeah, you could like cut it out like that. And then, you know, that bit would be the bottom. That bit would be the top, it's really nice. So it's just like cutting, instead of cutting the grain line parallel to the selvage, it would be like at 90 degrees to it. So yeah, it's a really lovely one. And again, gorgeous colorways in that too. So the, so far, all of these ones have been the double gauze, but this one, which does come in a couple of colorways as well, it's a cotton sateen, so it's a bit more of a denser weave. It's still very light. It feels quite like cotton lawn, but it's got a very, very sort of subtle sheen to it, which is really beautiful. 
and again just those beautiful colours, beautiful variation in the print, just really really nice and yet yeah, a few colourways of that one too. So yeah we've got, we're kind of stocked up on Nari Arrow stuff now because it did, it's, it sold out so quickly the last time so we thought better make sure that we've got enough this time to go around and then the other one, I'll pop them to the side just now, the other ones that I wanted to show you which I'm sure you've seen because they've been everywhere on Instagram but I just wanted to point out that we had them as well as the new collection from Atelier Brunette which you can see sort of see behind me on the shelf here as well some beautiful prints in this one this is probably my favorite the top that I was wearing in the video last week was made out of this fabric it's a viscose crepe so it's got a beautiful texture to it and then just this lovely color tones in this canopy print so it comes in three different colorways and then we've also got the shade print as well which comes in three colorways my favorite of that one is the blue I've made a top out of that one too and um, so yeah we've got all of those Atelier brunette ones and they also have the bias bindings to match as well which is great so we've got them in stock as well and then sticking with the wovens I've got some viscoses that aren't like a name a designer name but still beautiful and they've been really popular too this one here is like a sort of navy there's a let me get a bit off the roll for you. It's like a sort of kind of muted navy background and then it's got these taupe polka dots on it um, and quite a big scale. It's beautiful. You can see the drape on that. It's lovely. So that's that's just a plain weave viscose but I would say it's, it's, it's like fairly sort of medium weight as far as viscose goes. I wouldn't say it's too transparent or anything. So good for loads of different uses like blouses, tops, dresses and that kind of thing. Then another plain weave viscose we've got is this pink one which is lovely and it's got little sort of black dashes on it so there's that one as well which is nice again it's a pretty sort of it's a plain weave and it was pretty sort of medium weight I wouldn't say it's opaque either so good for those kind of sort of looser sort of fuller skirts that you see the swishy ones would be nice in that as well like a, like a dress or top would also be nice in that and then this one which we've got in a couple of colorways is beautiful it's got a black background then with these little sort of mini tulips on it and then we've got a navy one too that has got more kind of warmer color palette to it but it's got a beautiful drape as well let me open a bit of that out so you can see that to make a lovely little dress and then yeah we've got lots of other beautiful viscose options too all nice and colorful mostly quite florally prints but then we do have that really fun flamingo one as well which is nice okay just got myself reorganized a little bit there so sticking with the wovens these ones are more sort of like Odds and ends is the wrong way to describe it, but they're not necessarily in like a total group, but they're all just really nice. That's why I wanted to show you them. This one, I've got some of this lined up to make a green line archer shirt. It's beautiful. It's a co check cotton and it's coral and navy, gorgeous color combination. And it's kind of brushed, so it feels really cozy and fluffy. I think it's gonna make a gorgeous shirt for autumn. It's really, really nice. I know this bolt looks really skinny, but we do have a, another big roll of it. Um, so yeah, that one is one of my favourites at the moment. I've got a bit of it lined up to sew if only I had enough time to do it when I wanted to actually do it. And then this one here, which as soon as I saw it, it looked like really cool pyjamas, I thought. Um, it's a cotton, a pinstriped cotton, which is really nice. Um, it would also just be good for if you wanted, wanted something for next summer. It's quite a summery one, but yeah, I immediately thought of pyjamas when I saw that one. And then this one is quite unusual. It is, um, how would I describe it? It's a very bold sort of stripe fabric and it's got, all these stripes are woven in but it's quite textured. It weirdly reminds me a bit like ties, but as in a tie that you would wear. But there's just something like really bold and really cool about it. I think just like quite a simple top would be nice because the colours are so strong. Or I think you could actually use it as a lining as well. Like I think you could line a blazer or a coat with it too, because it doesn't it, it is it isn't doesn't sort of like stick to itself, you know, it is kind of quite slippery. It's a cotton and acetate mix. But yeah, it's just it's just really unusual. It's X designer. We're not allowed to tell you what the designer is, but yeah, if you have an eagle eye for designers, you might be able to tell what it is. Um, but yeah, it's just, just really unusual. I love the colours in that one. And then this one, again, a bit summery, but sometimes you just need like a classic kind of 
creamy fabric. This is beautiful. I've seen some people make gorgeous blouses with this. Um, it's quite it's quite sheer. Um, like you would probably have to wear a cami underneath it if you were, you know, if you made a blouse with it. And it's got a sort of like cheesecloth feel to it. So it's quite a really an irregular weave. And I would say it's more like a creamy colour, it's not white. Um, and yeah, it's just it's just got a really gorgeous texture to it. It's one of those fabrics that just makes you feel like you want to touch it. But I think that would be beautiful in like a little blouse that you could just layer up with a cardi or, you know, like wear with some jeans or whatever. It's, it's gorgeous, lovely fabric. And then again, sticking with the wovens, we've got a few lovely cotton lawn prints um, in, which are really fun. The colours in this one are beautiful, nice pinky, sort of ready tones on a kind of muted background. It's lovely, it feels so soft, that one as well. And then we've got one that's got poppies on it, which is beautiful too. Red poppies with little blue flowers and bits of mustard too. It's nice when prints have lots of little different colors in it. And then the other one that we've got is lovely as well. It's got a navy background, open a bit out so that you can see. And then it's got these lovely sunflowers on it and then just little little green flowers and corally ones too. It's lovely. They all feel just so soft. They're lovely. So the next few wovens that I have got to show you are some planes. We've got a gorgeous colour selection of cotton twills at the moment. They all sort of vary slightly. Some of them are got more of like a satiny sort of sh shine or like a sheen finish to them but they're all beautiful colours. I've pulled a few over here just to sort of hold up and show you. This one here is a navy one and it's got a lovely, really soft brush texture to it. And it does have a little bit of elastane in it. It's actually only got 1% elastane, so I would say it's got more of a give than a stretch. If you wanted to make a garment that was designed for woven fabric that has elastane in it, you know, that has a percentage of stretch, you'd probably have to size up in this one because it's not, as I said, it's more of a give than a stretch, but it feels beautiful, would make a gorgeous pair of trousers. Then we've got this one here, which is a gorgeous pinky color. You guys will know that I love pink. Yeah, it's kind of dusky, dusky pink, but I would say it's quite, quite a salmony pink as well. It's got more of a sort of sheen to it and it's lovely. How much, what percentage of, it's got 3% elastane, so it does have more sort of stretch in it, I would say. Um, so again, like a, a nice simple skirt or a pinafer or a pair of trousers would be really, really nice. And then, yeah, the colour range of that just looks beautiful on the shelf right now. There's lots of different lovely colours there. And then we've also had a selection of um, non-stretch cords in that are kind of between like a regular cord and like a really chunky cord, more towards the chunky side though. This is the kind of greeny one, we've called this one forest green. Um, and yeah, it's just really nice, but we do also have it in a kind of ready color. We've got it in a teal and a black and a navy as well. So yeah, just some really lovely like classic colors that are really nice. Actually, looking at this label, sorry, it does have a bit of stretch and it's got 3% elastane. So it does, yeah, it does actually have quite a bit of give in it. So it's going to be suitable for garments that require a little bit of stretch. So yeah, gorgeous, they would make like a gorgeous pair of trousers or pin for dress or dungarees, something like that. It'd be really, really nice. And then the last wovens I've got to show you are some of our wool fabrics, which are on the rolls behind me here. So this one is a lovely check. It's made in the UK, muted pistachio, we've called this one. It's quite kind of minty as well. I suppose it depends what light you look in, but it's got really lovely, gorgeous color textures to it, and then a nice large scale stripe too. I would say it's more of a sort of medium weight. It's not really thick and heavy, but yeah, it would be perfect for blazers. If you were making a coat with it, I would recommend just block fusing the whole fabric. I've got a separate video on that as well, which I can link to in the description. And it comes in three colourways as well. So this kind of sort of minty pistachio greeny one. Then we've got a more bluey one and then a kind of pinky one as well. So they are all really lovely. I just love the colours in that. They're really nice. And then this one here is a sort of rust speckled one. So it's, yeah, it's because it's got lots of different colour tones in it, it sort of depends where the, what way you look at it, really what colours you see. It's got, I can see specks of blue and orange and yellow and then yeah it's got this sort of lovely kind of maroony color here but then also woven with a white thread as well so 
it's just yeah it's just very interesting to look at because it's got lots of different colors in it and it's 100% wool as well so very cozy and then we've got this other one which is a lovely blue colorway again it's woven with various different colors so it's got love really really lovely texture to it so I think this would make a gorgeous little skirt as well or again you could use it as a blazer it's more of that sort of lighter to kind of medium weight one and then we've also got this lovely herringbone one here too that I really like the selvage on this one. Let me open it out so I can show you. I'm trying not to stretch too much because my microphone wire might not make it. Um, it's made, it's, yeah, the selvage says made in England, which is just really nice. It's just like a nice touch, but um, all of the wools that I've shown you are made in the UK. But yeah, this is a nice navy herringbone one so it's got beautiful texture in it as well just yeah another really lovely wool it feels nice and soft this one it doesn't feel too itchy which is nice and then I think that's all the woven ones that I have got to show you at the moment so then we're on to stretch if you like a bit of stretch I think I'll start with the jumpery ones hopefully this pile of rolls won't have an avalanche behind me um I'm going to show you these ones which some of you probably think is too early but they have been starting to sell in the shop and yeah, people are starting to think about that kind of thing. So this is a cotton sweatshirting and it's got a beautiful, lovely, soft, cozy back. We've got it in a few different colours. So it's sort of like a bit of a, a like a snow knitted kind of snowflake print. So we've got blue, we've got green and we've got red. And I think they would be perfect for a really cozy pair of pyjamas. And then we got in some plain French terry cotton French terry so we've got the grey one on the roll behind me here then we also have a red and we have a blue as well so I thought it would be really nice to have like you could have the bottoms just plain and then yeah have a cosy a cosy jumpery pyjama top for just staying at home and staying cosy and um, good patterns for that would be like the linden you could use the jara for that you could use the Tilly and the Buttons Nora and um, any of those ones would be good for a nice casual relaxed style jumper and then sticking with the sort of cozy jumper department we've had a few colors of this one in and um, it is also got a lovely fleecy back and this one is quite quite a bit heavier so if you're looking for a really thick kind of cozy jumper this is a good one to go for it's got a sort of marled texture to it which is nice and we do have it in three colorways so this gorgeous magenta we've got a teal one and we've got a navy as well now I've got a feeling the navy might be out of stock at the moment but generally if there's anything that I've linked to that is shown out of stock at the moment please email us and let us know and we'll tell you when it comes back in again because we as I said at the beginning we are getting deliveries quite regularly again so um most stuff is like coming back and if it's not in stock so just let us know and then it saves you having to check we can just let you know when it comes back again then another little lovely range of fleecy back sweatshirtings is this one here. It's a bit lighter, so it's lighter than the, the Christmassy ones that I showed you, but it feels super, super soft as well. So there's like a black with a kind of creamy, it's like a sketched spot almost that's on it. Then we've got a pink one as well, and we've got a kind of dark greeny one, which I think we've called Jungle. And it does usually come in a rust too, but again, I've got a feeling that one might be due back in very soon so it's more if you're looking for like a lighter weight jumper but it still feels so super soft on the back the back of that is just lovely and fleecy so yeah it would make a really nice comfy cozy jumper and then you've probably you might have sort of seen these ones before and um, because we ha I feel like we have had them for a while but then it might just be that I've not had them since I've done one of these videos we do have more in order which is why I wanted to include them and they're just perfect for jumpers at this time of year so it is the star jacquard one so it's got these stars kind of woven into the fabric which is really nice and so it's like a navy background with these colorful stars and then we've also got a gray one as well with the pink and the kind of turquoisey and orangey stars too and then we've also got an accru one so it's like a kind of creamy background um with colorful stars on it too so yeah it's it's really good for like jumpers or sort of heavier weight, thicker kind of looser style t-shirts. Um, and it's been super popular. Then the next lot of jerseys that I've got to show you are starting to get more into the thinner vein. Actually, there is one range that I would sort of say is in between. I've brought one color over to show you and I'll show you the rest um, in the close up videos. It is an organic cotton interlock. 
So when you look really closely, like at the weave of the fabric, it's, it's almost a bit like a sort of double layer, but it feels really soft. You can see that it moves around quite easily. And yeah, the, the softness of this is just unbelievable. But I've expanded our colour range in that. It's been really popular. Um, so it's going to be good for t-shirts and tops and jumpers. It would make really beautiful pyjamas as well. It's lovely. And yeah, just a really nice colour range in that. So that's why I wanted to mention that one because I've had a few new colourways in that one. This is one of the newer ones. What's this colour actually called? Raspberry. Um, so yeah, it's lovely. It feels gorgeous. And then we've had a couple of new colourways of a popular stripe cotton jersey that we had in. So we've got this one here which is a kind of grey with a sort of like sagey minty pistachio green stripe in it which is really nice and then this one here this mustardy one with the grey stripe and um, but we do have quite a few other colorways of that as well that we've had for i feel like we've had them for a long time anyway but they're just really nice they're more like classic t-shirt weights and um, and yeah just lovely and soft so they're better for more yeah more like the sort of fitted style t-shirts um but you could use them for looser styles as well but if you wanted a more fitted style t-shirt then these are these are good ones to go for and um, then we've also got some lovely printed viscose jerseys and um, this one here's got lovely blue kind of flowers on it this would be good for a nice a nice jersey dress or a top that's a bit more swishy like the closet core ebony because it's sort of fuller and it kind of moves around a bit more you can see it's much lighter like it just yeah it just kind of moves and like floats a lot more whereas the cotton jersey tends to sort of guess hold its shape a little bit more and um, if you're still new to jersey and you want to know more about it i did quite an in-depth video uh, probably about 18 months ago it was like the beginning of last year that was a sort of yeah just like a detailed video of all the different types of jersey you can get as well and what they're like so you can always have a look at that too if you're sort of trying to work out the differences between all the different jerseys that there are and um, so that's that printed one then we've got this one which is really fun it's a spotty one and um, it's got some really lovely colors in it too and um, and again it's lovely and sort of swishy and lightweight and you can see it's got a lot of kind of drape and movement to it um, i'm pretty sure it's viscose yeah 94 viscose six percent lycra so got a decent amount of stretch in it too it feels very very soft that one and then this one here is quite interesting because it's got a sort of slubby texture to it and um, so again it's viscose as well let me double check yeah 96 viscose four percent lycra but yeah it's just got this the, the way that it's woven it just has a bit more of a slub in it and it's got a sort of larger scale kind of abstract floral pattern so the background's navy and then it's a kind of dusky pinky creamy colors that make up the flowers but again if i hold it up you're going to see how much sort of swish and kind of movement that's got that would look lovely as a dress i think these larger scale prints quite often look nice on yeah like a larger scale garment and then this one here is another colorway of ones that we've had before but i just think it's a really nice colorway it's lovely and lovely and sort of muted so it's a kind of gray background with little mustardy ochre flowers in it so this one is tensile modal so it feels super super soft it's lovely beautiful and yeah it just it just swishes swishes around very very nicely so yeah again good for sort of looser style tops dresses jersey jumpsuits would be lovely so i think i've probably shown you enough fabrics for one video I don't want to make it too long but remember all of the fabrics that i have mentioned in the video will be linked in the blog post that goes with this video but if you want to check the just arrive section then you can check that as well for things like new as they come in and i'll link to both of those in the description to the video and my plan is now that my daughter is in school and my um, son my baby who's almost 11 months old he's going to be starting nursery fairly soon he's just been my little sidekick the whole time and um, now that I'm sort of yeah starting to be able to kind of get back into more of a um, specific routine regarding work rather than just trying to grab hours here and there when I can around looking after kids and um, that i'll be able to post a little bit more regularly and um, if you've got any requests of videos that you want let me know as well i mean i've got a list as long as my arm because i've just not had the time to make videos as much as i would have hoped to this year but and um, there are lots of things i want to do but i'm also happy to hear suggestions from you guys as well and um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already just remember to hit subscribe and i shall see you very soon bye <music>